Hello humans, Master Dinnerflex here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve. And today I'm going to be doing a quick combo with the new vampire cards. Now, I've seen a lot of discussion on YouTube, and they're like, ooh, this is so bad for zombies, ooh, this is so bad for zombies. But I do want to point something out, that zombies are bad. As a matter of fact, the idea that this doesn't support the Eldritch Zombie World strategy is completely incorrect. Um, so much so that it feels like it's incredibly disingenuous that the idea that this deck doesn't support the new zombies is dumb. Um, I'm going to show you this quick combo and I want to show you just how like surprisingly impressive these cards are and how much they help the zombie deck because i think people don't really understand that the zombie pile they want supported gets supported by just zombie cards so it doesn't have to say send balladroach and then set rivalry from your deck i'm gonna be totally honest the eldritch uh, not the eldritch the uh Valor Droach kind of sit on Zombie World strategy, I think is absolutely terrible. Not only is it not a very good deck, but it's also a very boring strategy. Um, I would love to see Zombies actually try to do some proactive things, which that Valor Droach deck doesn't even do. It like sits on Valor Droach, hopefully it draws enough floodgates, and then maybe it wins a match in a tournament. But let's go into this combo. What you need is Ghost Ogre and then Retainer or Familiar because they will accomplish the exact same thing here. The reason I say like this Vampire card is such a great addition to like the zombie pile is because of what we're about to do here. So on normal summon we will activate its effect, we will send the Retainer, and we will add Shadow Vampire to then send Familiar. We will activate Retainer and Graveyard to special summon it, and then we will pay 500 life points to add Vampire's Domain. So we have lost 500 life points. Now this combo is going to cost a lot of life, but because of Domain, we can just get it right back. Now we are going to activate Domain, and we are going to pay 500 life points for its effect. And that gives us an additional normal summon. So we will tribute the retainer to normal summon Shadow Vampire. Shadow Vampire on summon will special summon Scarlet Scourge from deck. And when Scourge is normal or special summoned, we can pay 1,000 life points to special summon Familiar from our graveyard. Which when Familiar is special summoned, we can pay 500 life points to add a Vampire from our deck to our hand. And we are going to add another Shadow Vampire. Now you might be thinking, well this is a tribute summon. There's no way you could use this more than once per turn. Well, that's where Ghost Ogre comes in. We can banish it, and after it resolves, we can normal summon one vampire monster. And then when Shadow Vampire is normal summon, we can special summon one vampire from our deck. Man, I thought we'd just seen this. Now, we are going to overlay the two level 6 vampires for Beatrice. Good old Beatrice. And we are going to attach to send Mizuki. Then we will link these two zombie monsters into Vampire Sucker. We are going to activate the effect of Mizuki to special summon Shadow Vampire from our graveyard. And then Grace will trigger. We will special summon it from our graveyard by paying 2,000 life points. And then the Sucker will trigger and we will draw one random card. Now... Depending on what the rest of your hand is, would decide where you go from here. If we just didn't have anything else in these four cards, these three are Apollosa. Or, if you do want to do the Balladroach stuff, you can instead send this to use a special summon effect of Familiar, because we haven't used that yet. We can turn these two vampires and to board block or discard a card, and then in the end phase we will grab back domain, and then we will link this into Link Kribo, and man, we have a Dark Machine, a Dark Cyverse, and a Dark Zombie. We can only make Curious from here, and if we were to do that, we could send Banshee. And then, 
Uh, afterwards, we can banish Banshee to then summon, uh, to then activate Zombie World in our opponent's draw phase. We can attach to send Glow Up Bloom to summon Balladroach from deck, and we would have this in hand. So obviously, as you can see here, this automatically sets that whole thing up while ending on just two extra bodies. But that's depending on if we literally drew like, drew like four WoW Warriors. But obviously, that wouldn't be the case. So let's go back to a simpler time when this was what we had. We had Vampire Sucker... familiar and these two on board let's go back to a simpler time now let's say among these random cards let's start off with uni zombie which could also be mizuki and then or a zombie world so one of these is going to be it so if this is a uni zombie we will go board blocker and specifically discard the uni zombie. And then similar, we will make curious the same way we just did. But instead of sending uh, Banshee, we will send Mizuki and get our mills. And then we will banish the Mizuki to special summon uni zombie, which we will then use to send our uh, Banshee. So we will banish Banshee to activate Zombie World from our deck and then we can turn these two into either Apollosa or Yuki Ona, the absolute zero Mayakashi. Because here's, here's the thing. So, Apollosa will have two materials. Yeah, that's two negates, but it's, like, very prone to getting ran over. So, what you can do instead is summon this. And this one has an effect when your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters banished. Um, and then if a monster is special summoned from the graveyard, or a monster effect is activated in the graveyard, you can target a face-up monster on the field and neg negate its effects and turns it to... Turn its attack to zero. Now this is kind of nice when you have Beatrice up. Because let's say your opponent summons a guy that doesn't trigger on summon. But it has a really powerful effect. You detach for Beatrice. To send the Glow Up Bloom. Glow Up Bloom triggers to special summon Balladroach. And then afterwards uh, Yukioni will target their thing and negate its effects. Turn it to zero because of Glow Up Bloom activated. So that's pretty cool. But let's go back a step when I said instead we had Zombie World as our random card. Which will be the final example of what I'm talking about. Alright, right here. So if Zombie World is the random card, what we can do instead is we can turn these into IP Masquerina. And this seems a little weird because you can also do some things with these, but you want to keep the Beatrice and the IP up. And what you're going to do is on your opponent's turn, you're going to detach. You're going to send the Bloom to special summon Balladroach. But also, just because of how the new Vampire Link works, it doesn't require only zombies, it just requires a zombie in the mix. So you will link IP and this Grace into Fascinator to effectively quick effect take a monster out of your opponent's graveyard. And then when that happens, we get a random draw with Sucker because a, a zombie is special summoned from the graveyard. So basically, regardless of, regardless of which path you take, you always get the zombie set up with just those vampire cards. And the vampire cards actually do have a lot of value because they're very good at generating a lot of cards, which the zombie deck 
it, it takes multiple turns for the card advantage to start rolling, but the vampires do it very quick. And because they have access to Beatrice and Curious, those seems like those seems like match made in heaven because the zombies love being in the graveyard, and those two are some of the best monsters at doing so. But yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and remember, Master Interflex will take your soul.